Sally, your first international call-up, you've represented Ghana for the first time. Just tell us about that whole experience for you. I think it was a great feeling and an honour to represent my country. Yeah, I was so happy, you know, um, to make my debut um, for, for my country. Yeah, I'm so proud. I know a lot of people for a long time have been waiting for this moment to come. Why do you feel it was the right time for you to get that first call up? I think I had a feeling like it's, it's, the, it's the right time now, you know, um, to represent my country. Uh, before um, I was ready and, you know, I spoke with the, you know, coaches and, the, you know, the uh, president, so they, they understand me. So I told them when I'm ready, I'll, I'll, I'll accept the call-up. What's changed in you to make you ready? How have you maybe matured personally to be ready to make this step? Yeah, because I had a um, talk with the president, um, the FA president. They told me what they, they are plans in trying to change everything in the team. Yeah, I spoke with the coach, the manager, and then um, he told me how he, he, he need me in the team. So that makes me change, you know, change my mind, you know, to, to be ready. And to make your debut against Brazil, I mean, is that the absolute dream of any country to play against? Yeah, I think that was a, you know, tough debut. You know, first my first game and then playing against Brazil and that was a tough debut, but I was so happy, you know, to make that debut. And then you obviously made your first start in the next game against Nicaragua. What was it like to be stood there with the national anthem playing, you know, from the start of the game for the first time? Well, it was a great feeling, honest. When I'm in the lineup, you know, before before the kickoff, um, was a great feeling, you know, and was a great um, experience. What do you make of the group? Portugal, South Korea, Uruguay. Um, yeah, I think um, it's a tough group. It's a very tough group, and we we need to prepare. Um, we need to have a good mentality, and every every game is a tough game. So you need to have the um, a good group. Uh, we know it's going to be very tough, so we had to put everything on on each every game, you know, to to make the country proud. And I know Cristiano Ronaldo is one of your heroes as well. To play against him in possibly his last World Cup, that's a pretty special moment. Yeah, I think um, yeah, it's a yeah, it's a special moment, you know. Um, not only um, like uh, it's my special player, but going to the World Cup is a, it's a special moment, you know. So, yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to it. And how much do you think playing in the Premier League with Southampton will help prepare you for this big stage? Because you've obviously played against a lot of these players before. Most of the players are playing in Premier League, and the intensity and everything. I think that will, that will help me a lot, you know, to to adapt to the team. And I know. There's some history between Ghana and Uruguay. I remember the 2010 World Cup. Is that kind of big news back home? Are they desperate to win this game, especially that one? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Like, um, yeah, I think the the people are looking like forward to to that game because um, they're going for revenge. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I too am looking forward to that game. You know, I need to stay for my country, like um, be with my country and then fight for my country. I think I'm, I'm part of the <laughs> revenge as well. Uh, when we play against Uruguay, you know, um, that, that World Cup, I think um, Ghana was the best African team that goes far, you know. Um, that was um, uh, memories, like for me, and that make me inspired, yeah. What is the goal for this Ghana team in Qatar? What would be success for the team? We have to do everything, um, I think, step by step. At first, um, we need to qualify from the group stage, and then after, we see what, what next. Who do you see as the strongest team in the tournament? It's, it's, it's difficult to say. Honestly, it's difficult to say because um, there are a lot of good teams, especially now. Everyone is good, like everyone can, can, can win. If Ghana can go far in the World Cup, what does that do for the country and how special would it be for you? I think it will be a big dream for me, like that's my dream, you know, to play World Cup and then to, to go far into the World Cup, I, I would say, yeah. So that's, that's my dream and I will make sure um, 
Um, I'll give everything and I have in every match.